This has been a good year for the state's hay crop, and many ranchers have been able to store enough to feed their livestock through the winter. What a difference a year makes. This was the scene last year in Pope County, north of Russellville. A Bermuda grass pasture burned up from extreme drought, and ranchers were having to purchase out-of-state hay at premium prices. This year we've been actually uh, been able to put up three cuttings on a lot of the fields. Uh, it's just been a great year. Uh, we were having to truck in a lot of different uh, feed sources last year. Uh, so it is amazing right now to look out and see, see green grass, and, and we've been blessed. Uh, put up a lot of hay this year. We've probably put up over 2,000 rows ourselves. Preston Scroggin is director of the State Livestock and Poultry Commission and is raising about 600 Angus replacement heifers on his ranch near Bologna. So far, so good. Um, uh, we're very pleased where we're at. Uh, like I said, compared to last year, uh, uh, we were having to truck everything in to feed all winter. Uh, didn't, didn't have hardly any hay, uh, and we've got grass this year, and, and the cattle are fat and, and happy right now, and, and, and so are we. For me, and I guess it's, it's old time, I guess my grandpa coming out in me, but uh, you know, he used to always love to have the corn cribs full in the fall, and I love to have the hay barns full in the fall, and, and you know, this is the first time in about really, uh, you know, we had some drought concerns even two years ago, but this is the first time that we've been able to, in probably three or four years, have our barns full. And, and have some good grazing set aside in their pastures, and uh, we feel very fortunate. Uh, it puts you in a better mood. John Jennings is Extension Forage Specialist for the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture. While ranchers in South Arkansas missed the August rains that fell on the northern two-thirds of the state and haven't cut as much hay, statewide this has been a much better year. We started getting some scattered rain in, in July, and in August it just a deluge fell over a good part of the state, and so people were able to get another cutting then. So most people got two good cuttings, some people got three or, or so. But Jennings stresses that just because you have a good supply of hay, don't be tempted to feed it too early. You know, grazing is much more cost effective. Uh, every bale of hay, you'll have 25 to $30 cost tied up in that. And that's from your uh, machine cost, you know, cut rake, bale, haul, uh, the fertility that's in it, whether you bought it or not, you still got fertility tied up in it that came out of your ground that will have to be replaced at some point. And so if you can uh, keep that stored as long as you can, uh, make sure it's good quality, feed it later in the winter, let the cows graze, uh, it really helps out a lot. With timely rains this fall and by sticking to planting winter annuals like rye, wheat, and other cool season grasses, most livestock producers should be in good shape to make it through until next spring.